you actually can film this type of videos manual focus guys i'm not using autofocus ciao guys and welcome back i'm luca and in today's video i'm gonna give you my five reasons why i decided to buy the panasonic lumix s5 even if i still have the lumix s1 so if you want to know more about it check the video until the end Reason number one, this camera is gonna make my life easier in the creation of the content for the YouTube channel. So in theory, I bought this camera also for you guys, even if I'm gonna use it for you. The presence of the flippy screen while I try to film myself on the go, it's a big plus of this camera. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this system for photography and videography while I'm behind the camera, but I admit that if I have to film myself, because with the flippy screen I can be 99% sure that I'm uh, perfectly in focus. I don't know if you saw the previous videos that uh, I was vlogging with the S1 and uh, where it is? This uh, mirror screen where you can check if you are uh, in focus or in a proper frame, but when you have uh, hard light uh, coming from uh, behind the camera it is pretty difficult to see if you are properly exposed or in focus so yeah for sure this is a better solution and uh, lighter weight than a monitor on top of this one because that system is already extremely heavy and yeah i couldn't really vlog with that system anymore because uh, i was also injuring a little bit my wrist uh, because if you consider the s1 plus the 24105 we reach around uh, 700 grams almost two kilos and with a tripod or the monopod to keep the video more stable we are gonna exceed the two kilograms and if you consider a monitor on top of that to check if i was probably exposed or uh, in frame or in focus yeah no it's just too heavy and cumbersome that uh, it was making my life a little bit difficult and um, less spontaneous, I would say. With the S5, I can just take it out from the bag and I'm ready to go filming myself if there is something interesting I want to talk about. I really hope that this video is going to be interesting for you. The reason number two, I need a camera for vacation. The S1 with the 24105 was a little bit cumbersome to bring around in vacation. I brought it with me in uh, Curaçao, in the Caribbean, in south of uh, Spain. Malaga, Andalusia, uh, also in Sicily and uh, yeah it is a little bit big and heavy to bring with you every time so most of the time I was just sticking a uh, 50 millimeter f1.8 uh, for example this uh, Canon FD 1.8 is extremely lightweight and really slim profile and if I would have liked to have an ultra wide angle lens uh, I would have brought probably the Zeiss 21mm f2.8 but this is another hell of a lens weight around 700 grams so I decided to take the S5 in combination with the kit lens to be able to have just uh, one camera and one lens for all the situation I'm gonna be in a vacation probably I will still bring a lightweight 50mm f1.4 or f1.8 uh, for darker situations, but yeah, the size and weight of my camera bag is gonna be drastically reduced And if I want to do a vlog like this on vacation, I'll be free to do it without uh, bringing with me too much stuff The third reason I needed a photography camera with a full-frame sensor with great color signs the ability to edit the RAW internally in the camera and the ability to transfer the raw files through the app in my smartphone so to be able to edit the files in the Lightroom mobile so the S5 checked all the boxes for me and if I wanted something else from another camera system uh, I would have spent way more money because the S5 is priced around 2000 euros while the Canon R6 and Z6 Mark II are priced a bit more expensive no, no more space for Sony, I don't like Sony color signs, I got rid of all the Sony cameras. I really cannot look at Sony color signs anymore. Sorry guys. Reason number four. I needed a photography camera that was able to record 4K 10 bit internally without the problem of overheating. One more time, there are other cameras from other manufacturers, but they have some compromises that I don't really like and uh, even if the s5 has a small body it's able to record for long sessions without the problem of overheating and that's a big plus because there are situations where you don't have your a cam with you but you'll be still able to 
provide professional content for your clients uh, with this camera. Reason number five, I really didn't want to spend and waste time anymore to grab the Bcam or Acam from a rental house. We all know that time is money and every time I had to go and bring back the Bcam I was renting was uh, pretty much time consuming and a waste of money. I know that ideally I should have bought another S1 as a Bcam but considering the YouTube workflow that I want to create, the S5 made a lot of sense for me. And I don't consider the 30 minutes recording limit a problem with the S5 because I'm planning to use this one on a tripod, just keep recording and the S5 is gonna be with me so I'll be able to start and stop the recording sessions without any problem and without worrying about the problem of the 30 minutes limit. I see that you are thinking something and no, I'm not gonna use the S5 more often than the S1, uh, mostly for two reasons, photography reason and videography reason. The photography reason is the tilted screen I love this system for photography, it is uh, really fast and I don't have the problem of flipping out, twist, rotate, it's really not practical for me and uh, I love to shoot most of the time with a little bit of low angle, so for me a tilting screen is a great plus. And don't forget about the viewfinder that is pretty amazing on the S1. Regarding the videography part, the S5 cannot be an A cam because of the 4K 10-bit recording limit of 30 minutes. The S1 doesn't have any recording limit with this recording option, so yeah, this can only be an A cam and the S5 is gonna be a B cam, so yeah, I'm gonna use this one more often and the S5 is gonna be more the YouTuber content creator camera. But I've already talked about my 10 reasons why I prefer to use this one over the S5, so if you didn't see it and you missed it, I will put the link in the description and uh, I will put a link here in the frame of the video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video because I really enjoyed to make it. I hope I'll see you next time. Ciao guys! <laughs>